<laughs> you better have your family notified. <laughs> you better have someone waiting with the tickets at the station. <laughs> You gotta use that four step. You gotta make sure you've got that email with the barcode <laughs> ready. <laughs> what did that one mean? The email with the barcode? Yeah, because you know, sometimes you got a ticket for a show. Yeah. And you oh. got that barcode. <laughs> no, I, didn't get it. I didn't get it before, but no. <sighs> you ready? <laughs> this is the first time I've asked, ever asked you if you're ready before yes, I start. Yes, I'm recording. ready now. <laughs> Guys, I believe we are recording a new episode of Dynamic Banter. You bet. I bet you have your purse unzipped and ready for inspection. You better have that purse emptied of contraband. You're going <laughs> to use that forced air. <laughs> what a weird thing. What a weird thing. It's weird. Yeah. I hope you boys are buckled up. <laughs> Because this ride's about to go up to 35 miles per hour. Fast. That's fast. Uh, we're going 0 to 35 quicker than you'd expect. <laughs> we're going 0 to 35 in about 3.7 seconds. <laughs> you better buckle up. And I hope you don't have stomach aches. <laughs> what a like, what an insanely honest description of the podcast. <laughs> you're right. You're I selling it just where it should be. Yeah. You know what I was noticing today? Go ahead. And this is a knock on no one in particular. Okay. Most podcasts, no good. I went away this weekend, and I listened to so many podcasts uh -huh. that I love, that I've been subscribed to for years, and everyone has episodes where it's no good, top to bottom. <laughs> Doesn't even start off strong. Sun up, sun down. Doesn't sound good all right away. Yeah. And there's, like, conversations that you're like, this is not a good, you've put out so many episodes that I've enjoyed so much. This conversation that's happening right now is not, I don't want it. <laughs> I've had that, feel, that feeling multiple times this weekend. Well, um, I mean, but by that token, there are a <laughs> lot of podcasts. Yeah. There are so many podcasts. There are a lot of good podcasts yes. under the same umbrella, same show, yes. different episode. Everyone eats shit once in a while is what I'm saying. Yeah. I wonder how many... Have we gotten there yet or have we oh, passed absolutely. it? Did we pass it? I think, we, I think we've left it in the past. <laughs> <laughs> now everything from here on out is good. Is it maybe the first episode of this podcast? Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> Let's cut to the entire podcast. Let's so play the know, whole so podcast. <laughs> let's play the instead of this new one. Let's play the first one we ever did as like a best of. Yeah, as a sound, today is what our if best we of soundboard. Show. <laughs> yeah. You hit a button in the whole first podcast. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Someone loaded up a, a one hundred and twenty minute long clip Whoa. into one button. <laughs> Real quick, comes and whispers in his ear before the show starts. Okay, we're on in five, four. Okay, Which I button got... is my clip from the first episode? No, I got, I got the whole thing in one. Okay, and Three, I'm sorry, what? Two... <laughs> That's what you asked for. One, go! <laughs> okay, everybody. Welcome to the show. Buckle up. We're going one to 35 at a reasonable pace. <laughs> That's what I want. I want the cars. I mean, do you really want to go? <coughs> Do you personally want to go zero to some fuck up fast speed? <laughs> no, do you man. want that? No, that's Neither bad. Neither do I. I don't want it. That's it's bad. scary. It's I've dangerous. Been, have you ever hung out in Florida? Orlando, Florida? I've been to Orlando, Florida, yeah. There, I'm going to fuck this up. I don't want to, but I'm going to. I dare you to not fuck it up. The Aerosmith ride. Oh, yeah, at Disney World. That <laughs> goes an insane amount of speed. Up to an insane amount of speed from nothing fast. I don't like that kind of thing. 
it's and they have this whole thing about how like and I I think it's the same one but how it's like propelled by magnets it's not like a propulsion it's not like it needs to gas up or it's, it's like just electric. ready to go you know how there's like an, a rev yeah it's propelled by magnets so it's just like I thought you were gonna say it's propelled by magic it's like <laughs> well I don't know the difference yeah magnets are pretty amazing to me yeah magnets are that's what magic that's is. real magic yeah. yeah that's nature's magic I don't know that there's fake magic <laughs> you don't personally. know you don't know if there's fake magic? I know that people talk about it, but like if I can't pull a quarter out of your eye and somebody else can, yeah. even if I know that's a trick, that's yeah. magic. What if someone could easily explain to you how it's done? <laughs> Does that still make it magic? I didn't say magic couldn't fade. <laughs> that's why people fall out of love. I mean, I guess you can explain how a magnet works too. If we I, wanted to, I guess we somebody could. could, and I don't doubt that somebody could explain to me how a magnet works, and I could still not get There's it. There's a think it's whole magic. insane uh, <coughs> maniac clown posse song about it. There is, <laughs> there is, and I'm sure that's exactly what the band name is. Insane murderous clown posse. <laughs> the, uh, dot com. The ravenous. Those angry clowns. There's a there's a, get a group of angry clowns. They <laughs> sing group. about songs. <laughs> we start a band called the Group of Angry Clowns. <laughs> yeah, and not like not like murderous clowns, just clowns angry. that are like that maybe got stiffed on the last circus yeah. check, or someone like cut them off real bad on the <laughs> yeah, we're in before the, they got to the show. We're in the same car. Yeah, and somebody almost rear-ended us, and we're like, "Come on, yeah, why would you just?" Back off a little bit. Yeah. Just two angry clowns. Mm hmm What's some... Th I mean, we could go on and on about what makes us angry. <laughs> I asked and answered my own question without really <laughs> yeah. asking it. <laughs> what was the ask going to be? It was going to be, what's us... that, what makes you angry, Mike? Yeah. And then we could talk about what And we could talk anything. about it. But guess what? I'm going to put a cork in it. Okay. That's it for this week for the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Because I can do that. I can end the show right now. You can. You have the power to do that. And I don't think you'd stop me. <clears throat> I wouldn't. I'm always up to, like, to have whatever fun. happens, happens. To be fair, I don't know about most of the things that are going to happen on this show. But the air, you do know that the Aerosmith ride goes too fast. Because of magnets, specifically. Okay. Yeah. Do you think... Do you feel confident in your assessment of it being a magnetized propulsion system? I think so. Why, are you going to fact check? I do have the internet open in front of me. I just don't want to get dog since I got locked off. You don't want to what? I don't want to be uh, exposed. As a, um, You'd rather be posthumously exposed. I don't. You'd rather be, be tweeted about it seventeen times. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who just throws magnets into conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that must be magnets. I don't want to be that guy. Is what I'm saying. I don't want to show up to playlist live and have people be like, "That's the magnet guy." <laughs> Do you think that's possible? I don't want to be at VidCon, right? Yeah. Lucky enough to meet... Video convention. Right? You meet all these people? Yeah. And behind your back, they're like, that's Magnet Guy? <laughs> oh, shit. There's Magnet Guy. That guy, he doesn't understand that, so he just assumes that magnets are involved? I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I understand that, but I don't think that's going to happen if you say one thing about magnets. What if that I That might not be true. What if I land a TV series where I'm a superhero called Magnet Guy? The loading area is designed to resemble the alley behind the recording studio. Here we go. There is a chain link fence, dim street lights, and a super stretch limo. The this was the original version of that journey song. <laughs> <laughs> dim lights. Chain link fence. <laughs> Getting that funny feeling. Hey, Steve, I think these lyrics are a little <laughs> bit basic. You think so? Maybe get a little more metaphorical. Should have been gone! <laughs> <laughs> That's a couple years later, Steve. That's all. Yeah, you're not ready for that one. So We're still workshopping it. <laughs>
and a super stretch limo, which is what the ride train is. Yeah, you're on the limo trying to get to the next. That's yeah. a fast limo. Are you concerned about the speed in which the limo gets to? Or... Yeah, especially at the jump. Guests load into the limo and prepare for launch. Lunch. Launch. 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 <laughs> You are served lunch before the ride starts. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to eat a whole ham or vegetarian sandwich. They hand you a ham. <laughs> you put it on like, your lap. What if you had to eat before that ride started? And there'd be a lot of, of vomit. Yeah, the uh, the line is a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> and you, yeah. And you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to dig into some fucking uh, biscuits and gravy. I'll have two hot dogs. What is it, 2 p.m.? Yeah, I'm going to fucking put some macaroni is in my... Is this part of the ride? We can just have this? This is free. Is that what it is? Dude, my God, I don't know about you, but I'm going to put a little macaroni in my burger. Yeah, man. It's right there. I'm going to put pizza underneath these waffles. Oh, shit. I didn't see that they had chicky things. <laughs> they always kind of have chicky things. I was not... Really expecting chicky. You things. see the mashed tapes? Oh, shisk! <laughs> <laughs> so you're there's brisk, <laughs> iced tea, baby. <laughs> I wish they had something else though. I, I'm not a big iced tea. <laughs> you know, a brisk baby. You don't feel it's, it. it's like the park is sponsored by brisk. <laughs> yeah. So it's all they have. What if that's like, why all don't they, they have. even have a water thing? Every iced tea thing has a water button. I feel like not to fuck us for potential future sponsors, but a brisk iced tea <laughs> is not what you reach for when you want an iced tea. I think that's not what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking right now, and I want to put your mind at ease and say that it's not um, a podcast in 1999. <laughs> So, oh, so we're not going to have a brisk I don't think there's a chance. I don't think brisk is knocking on the door. Are you sure about it? Don't know. I don't know for sure. Is there a guy we can look at or... <laughs> Weird sentence. <laughs> what are you, dude, you burst in the brisk building. Hey, I demand a guy to look at. <laughs> I got some ideas. I said guide. Oh, I said guide. Is there a guy to look at? Like a in boss. The eyes? A boss you can look at. <laughs> Someone I can look at hey, to talk about it? We're interested in sponsorships. Let me look at you for a second. You know what? I wasn't sure which sponsors we had this week. Can I look at you really quick? <laughs> Let me get a look at you. Friendly doctor. Yeah, let me take a look at you. <laughs> I like it. What if you had a friend that did that? Where you're like, anytime you saw him, he's like, What's up, man? Great to see you. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> yeah, spins you around. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I saw you a week ago, man. What yeah, are you getting a get look, look at? at what are you looking at? Yeah, turn around. You getting a look at what what I got going on? Yeah, lay down and pull your shirt off. Let me get a look at you. You're going there, huh? What's the purpose of seeing me shirtless right now? And then he tries to play it off like, what, you don't want to see a movie? <laughs> I no, thought we were going to hang out. I was saying stuff. I thought we were going to hang out. We're going to look at you. Speaking of sponsors, this episode is brought to you by Harry's Razors. Harry's, big shout out to them. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. Mike Falzone, you're a fan of Harry's Razors and you brought me a box I was of it. such a fan of the presentation of the box itself. Yeah, the way it felt like I, I felt like I was rewarded with a beautiful shaving opportunity, one that I did not take because my face looks like a mess. You keep your shit nice and trim. Mm. Yeah, well, I do a little. I do. Uh, your beard hides the area that I need to work on, which is this area here. For the for you listeners at home, it's this area. The under. No, no, don't tell them. <laughs> they can see. It. And uh, that's about it. The only pl uh, place I'll do my cheeks a little bit, a little shape. You shave your cheeks. Do you shave your cheeks at all? No, man. You see, yours, you got nice, like, little swoops. It's because I've made swoops. it. Swoops. Um, I shaved it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Mine looks like I Is found yours? a bunch of hair, and I did my best to cover as much of my face <laughs> as possible yeah. before I got to work, and I was in a rush. Is that just where your hair stops, naturally? I think so. 
That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone who has a beard has, like, a cool feature of their beard. Yeah, like, some people have them. Some people have them, and they, and they don't. You were saying about Harry's razors? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. Were you done with that bit? <laughs> <laughs> were you done with it? Uh, features in your beard. Because I had something to you say. You got them? Or, or you... Well, you don't have... Your hair stops on your cheeks. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. I'd say that's pretty cool, man. That was what we that's had to your go back feature. to the bit for? That's your feature. That's your beard feature. You see me and you're like, that guy has hair on his cheeks? No, I see you and I go, mmm, a beard boy. And then I go, like, let's talk about our beards. Yeah. Which we've never done, really. We've never done. Huh. But it, but now we are. We're talking about our beards. Yeah. And what I'm noticing about your beard, talking about Harry's razors, is that you've got a you've got a clean beard. Okay. You do a lot of. Prune, I wash it. You do, do a lot of pruning. You're talking about when you say clean. Do you mean like it doesn't smell? I no I fly. actually could not tell you if it smelled or not because I've never been close enough to your face. Well, I use the oils. Okay, looking at you, do Harry's you? razors. Do I use you the use oils? oils? I use shampoo. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because you always want to keep your face nice. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But you do the shaping up with an actual razor. But you don't? I don't. So you don't do a thing with your beard with razors. But you've got clippers, maybe. Got clippers. You got the bulls. The LA, Los LA Angeles clippers. Lakers. <laughs> I got the Milwaukee Bucks, and I use them to shape my face up. With the LA right Clippers. So you'll just tr- do a little trimmage. Yeah. Hmm. I'm. Pr- uh, that's a cool feature of your beard. Great, thank you. Cause my, I don't know what my beard feature is. To be honest with you, you just have a nice beard. I guess it's a nice beard. And you have good all around facial coverage. Yeah. I'm worried that this is us falling in love. <laughs> And I don't want to get here and you then have to go, happen, I can't go back. I mean, if you need to fall in love, then I understand. Yeah, good all-around coverage. All right? Thanks, man. Damn it. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's it? You, two boys with beards can't compliment each other's beards? Probably. This conversation has been happening since the beginning of time. Yeah. 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 You ever think about that? But in the beginning of time, if there was no razors... You would look okay, and I would look like a monster. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, you I would look exactly imagine. the way you look right now. You got a good You're mustache, too. Thank you very much. It's a very Italian mustache. Because I feel like the... I could be on a pizza box. <clears throat> <clears throat> like, have you ever had your facial face copied and put onto a pizza box? Mm, no. Measured for size? No. Have you ever just had a mustache? Yes. It's not great. How long ago was that? Oh my god. Years and years. Yeah, you, I, would, I, I could see you without a beard and just a mustache, and yeah. you would look like a very Italian man. <laughs> yeah, I hope to be old and Italian one day, and maybe do a mustache situation. How do you feel about the old curls that go into your mouth there? Mustache curls? Yeah, baby. Well, you take wax... And you pull them away from your mouth. What about this part? Here, for the podcast listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell them. I got a spoiler alert. I got to say it. Go ahead, man. Ruin my bit. <laughs> you know what I want. Destroy will. my bit. just trim them. Yeah, okay. You trim them. Do you know, do you have a length where you're like, this is where they'll go. To, do you ever go above Harry's the lip? razors. Do you ever go above the lip? Yeah, I have. Uh, do you prefer not to? I prefer not to, but... Let's say you have a lady in your life who yeah. maybe hates kissing hair all the time. Yeah. Uh, she wants you to go above the lip for kissings. But Zoidge is okay. Yeah. Um, you got she, a good one. she really likes when I trim my mustache real short, and I don't like that. Mm-hmm. So every time you see. What do you mean by short? Ev- above the lip. Okay. So every time you see me with more than that, it's me. Um, being nice to your girl for a bit? Not, not being nice. Oh, it's not being nice. Yeah. But you... It's me making it less enjoyable to kiss me for the woman who wants to spend the Has she ever made a comment about it? Yeah, all the time. 
What have you known Zoya to be to like? Not, you're right, to hold back anything. Yeah, she looks like she wants to say something, but she's not saying <laughs> it. Never. That's why she's an amazing person. Zoya also loves Owen. Really? So much. That's a first. Zoya is... <laughs> <laughs> Zoya kind of feels like you've just been around for a thousand years. With Owen, you either love him or you absolutely hate him. Why would you absolutely just kidding, hate I'm Owen? I'm kidding. It's a bit... I mean, yeah, and <laughs> I because uh, you wouldn't. Um, you know, Bree's got a problem with hair. I don't know what that means. She has an issue with stray hair. Okay. She doesn't like it. It grosses her out. It makes her uncomfortable, and she doesn't like it. So are you always? If there's like a hair in her food, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> That place does not exist anymore. <laughs> it's not going to be on the dinner suggestion list next week. I really wish I didn't take that sip of water where I took it. <laughs> but, um, Incredible decision. But I'll tell you what, she'll kiss I... this grossness. Yeah. And she doesn't say a word. <laughs> yeah. Even with the mustache into my mouth. Well, that's nice. You know what I'm talking about? When the mustache goes into your mouth yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, for the yeah, podcast yeah. listeners, this section. <laughs> right there. Not. Yes. This there. one. <clears throat> Not this. That's good. This. What if one of your hairs was to be left maybe on or in or around her mouth? She Has would that be upset happened? about it, yeah. Would it be over? <laughs> <laughs> Would that not be a dinner suggestion next week? <laughs> um, no, I think she's she she's okay. She gets grossed out. Yeah, she and, needs fifteen and minutes. Gets upset for a second, and then um, she's good about that for good. some reason. Well, great. Maybe but it's not when of, um, maybe it's because she likes you. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope that's it. You should ask. I would ask. Yeah. Maybe I should. When did shaving get so expensive, Mike? I don't know, but I when I did shave all the time, I was like, holy crap. That was the first thing, like, when I moved out. Yeah. And I was on my own. <laughs> yeah. I was like, life is expensive. Yeah. You got to buy groceries. I got my first job, and all of my money is going to groceries. Yeah. And I was like, this much is going to razors? Because it was like $15 for, like, it's one. expensive. That was going to... I didn't like that. Yeah. I was like, so many of my hours, my hard hours, yeah. are going to raise us. It's really strange to me that there are people that shave every day. Yeah. God bless those people. Those people... Uh, they're keeping Harry in business. They're keeping Harry's in business. But even a person like me with a beard would like to use your, Harry's razors. Sure. You've used the one... I sure have. Review. And I like it. Great. What a shining endorsement. I thought so. Steve Zaragoza. Quote. Let's talk about these quality German blades for a second. They're good. <laughs> Did you have anything to add to that? Or? In speaking of on the prices of razors, Harry's starter is only $15. <laughs> You like the flavor of honeydew, Mike? <laughs> Bree calls it bitch fruit. <laughs> Speaking of expensive razors, Wait, Harry $15 Starter. $15 for pack. the beginner? Yeah. Set? Harry Starter set is $15. Like that? Yeah. 15 <laughs> bones. And guess what that includes? What do you get in that? List them off, Mike. Razor? There's a razor. Yeah. There's three blades. Three blades for the razor. Yes. So there's three other trips to the store. You and not make. You're damned. Stay home. Get in your bed. Count it towards your days where you're going to be in bed. If you have a list going. <laughs> Should you have a running tally, add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> you got a date. 
day coming up on your calendar. <laughs> we don't have to leave the house. Get ready. Get ready to appreciate it <laughs> with Harry's razors. <laughs> and guess what? You get your choice of Harry Shave Cream or foaming shave gel. I would love to use a foaming. Sh That's what I miss. Get yeah. a nice foam. I know it's nice. On you. It's nice. I don't. I don't remember what it's like. I used to love. You're the king of your own kingdom, Michael. That's a great point. Is that your real full name, Michael? Yeah. Uh huh. Who calls you that, your Mama? No one really. Really? No one really calls me Michael. When your mom or dad is you know upset, who, you do know they who say calls it? me Michael? Uh, relatives that call the house. Hi, is Michael there? Yeah. Yeah. No one else. Because you were known as Michael as a boy? At one point, as a small. When pe when it was universal to like me. As a small. Before you develop, like, your adult shitty personality. You know? When you're a kid and everybody likes you because you run. <laughs> do boy things. It's nice to see a boy run. Yeah. <laughs> it means it's working. It means life's working. Yeah, working boy. Look at that boy. He's working. Someday he's going to grow up. Man, that boy just works. <laughs> What an efficient boy. <laughs> like, when you see that kid again next year, wow, that boy's working. Yeah, that boy's Look working. how big he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm going to need you to use that recline on that couch. <laughs> Are you using it? I can't tell from here. Yeah. How deep you in, baby? <laughs> Perpendicular, his legs perpendicular to the what's TV. Your, what's your angle, Owen? What are you angle at, baby? What are you at, like a 72, baby? <laughs> are you at the 72 tiny circle over right. there? <laughs> Where are you at, Owen? You comfy? You yeah. can get deeper. <laughs> Dude, you should make, absolutely do this tomorrow. You should make a tape, a cassette tape, that is Steve Zaragoza's recliner instructions <laughs> guided recliner meditation owen and i were just talking about that remember owen no we were, we were talking Owen's about like, no but great idea no Mike. we were oh, talking we... about doing instructional fake instructional videos on my youtube channel uh -huh. yeah you said that before i think yeah um but this one specifically and please sell it on a audio cassette tape. you could buy it on cassette tape i think that would be the fun i would buy one that mean green. Oh, I got one of those what straight hairs we were talking about. Fucking audio cassette player. If you want to hear it, you're going to buy a tape player. Grandma's got one. Maybe it comes with one. Are they cheap now? Yeah. They stopped making VCRs. As they in, did stop uh, making VCRs. He's right. As an added bonus <laughs> to the Harry's <laughs> blades and such, you're going to get $5 off your first purchase with the code BANTER. Banter. Nice work, Mike. Thank you. Use that code BANTER at checkout, and you can get an entire month <laughs> worth of shaving. That's a month <laughs> of shaving. I hope the crazy lady has a podcast where she talks about you. <laughs> I hear this yelling coming from that, r that corner. Yells! <laughs> must hate you. Babbling brooks! <laughs> Guitars! Uh, um, about a month of yeah, shaving? Yeah, that's a month of shaving for $10. Damn. $10. Damn. Yeah, that's 30 days of your face being clean shaved for the ladies or the boys. That's it's about 30 less dollars you're going to spend on shaving things for a month. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, nice work, guys. Go to harrys.com now, and Harry's will give you $5 off if you type in our code BANTER with your first purchase. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com. Enter that coupon code BANTER at checkout, and you get $5 off your starter set and start shaving smarter. BANTER. Today. You know what's even if you're looking for one more reason? Go ahead. Ads over, but go ahead. They like this is that's how you know that this is honest. Yeah, yeah. They like this show enough to advertise their product, and we like blew it on this weird 
weird show. Yeah. Thank you guys very much for coming. Why didn't any of you guys show up when I played music? <laughs> um, I want to uh, thank, uh, well, fucking all of you. I already thank you 75 times. <laughs> But I used to come here all the time to see a man named Darian Cunning. Do you guys know who Darian Cunning is? Darian Cunning plays music here all the time, and he's better than any other musician I've ever come in con contact with in my entire life. Contact isn't a word. We're going to push through it for sure. You gave that beer to him too loud. You don't need to say anything to give somebody a beer. I got you a beer! I know it's your favorite! I'm just kidding. Everybody relax. Uh, but I used to play here all the time, too, from the time I was, like, 17 to whatever is happening now. And, uh, and Darian used to come up to me all the time, and he said, he's here. Do you remember what you used to say to me all the time? Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? You said, uh, you should have a TV show someday, yeah. is what you used to say. Totally. And, uh, first of all, I really appreciate it. Second of all, that's the nicest way to say, maybe not the music stuff for you. <laughs> Darian, can I show you this new song? It's about this girl I just broke up with. Absolutely, dude. Cool, you should have a fucking TV show someday, man. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, G-A, yeah, fucking, just put it down and start talking. That's not how it happened. <laughs> what did you say? That's not how it happened. 